Golf cartel leader remains in custody after his arrest sparked a gunfight in Reynosa, killing at least three people. Action 4's Elizabeth Espinosa asked locals if they feel safe now that he is now behind bars. She joins us now live in the studio with that story. Elizabeth. Well, Tiffany, the recent arrest of a golf cartel leader is leaving some residents near the Ansel Duas International Bridge feeling safe tonight. But experts say this arrest is just a quick fix and an authority should get to the main source of the issue. Mexican authorities arrested Gulf Cartel leader Jose Hernandez Fuentes that led to a gunfight killing at least three people. This arrest has many near the U.S.-Mexican border feel safer. Kyle Newland Jr., who lives near the Ansaldúas International Bridge in Mission, believes the arrest is good. I think that the citizens around here will feel safer that somebody like that that could potentially be violent um, with them being incarcerated. I think that that's a positive for the area. Newland admits that he doesn't plan on going across the border soon, saying there still can be cartel violence. It's not a safe area to go to right now. Chair of the government department at the University of Texas at Brownsville, Guadalupe Correa Cabrera, says otherwise. Federal forces against these groups. This is not a new phenomenon. What, ha what is happening right now is that this type of arrests of some leaders are causing this instability. Correa says since the Zetas and Gulf Cartel separated in 2010, Mexican federal forces had to intervene to keep citizens safe from the war between the two. She says Hernandez's arrest won't make much of an impact and authorities should focus more on where their resources go. This is a problem because maybe the government is going to continue arresting heads but another one is going to appear. But Newland hopes the arrest will also bring others to the valley. Maybe they will be more, more apt to come back as opposed to if they hadn't busted someone like that. Well, Mexican officials say it was difficult to catch Hernandez because he was using eight different false identities. In the studio, Elizabeth Espinosa, Action 4 News.